Today we have a look at the best RAM for your Ryzen 9 5900X. There's a lot of options to go there, but I would say if you go with such a high-end Ryzen, you would get yourself some nice RAM sticks as well. The one which I would consider the best for you is a Corsair RAM. But you have to choose your megahertz speed and your capacity of your RAM. First of all, your megahertz speed should be between 3200 megahertz and 4000 megahertz. I would consider 3600 megahertz the best because the value is really there and you get a nice performance up from 3200 to 3600. This is much less noticeable if you go to from 3600 to 4000, but you have to pay a much larger premium there. So this is the best if you consider yourself a little bit budget friendly. But if you have the money, go with 4000 because it will give you the best performance and it can be the best if you use this Ryzen 95900X for your gaming. And then we have to talk about capacity. As your minimum, I would go with 16 gigabytes. This is if you plan to game with it, hear music with it, just normal working tasks. Then 16 gigabits with two 8 gigabit sticks is the best way to go there. But if you edit videos or are more creative underway, then you should consider something more. For 4K videos, you should have at least 3200 gigabyte, 32 gigabytes, but I would even urge you to go with 64 gigabytes. If you edit 6K or 8K, then you should get yourself two 64 gigabyte slots. The most important thing to know here is always get yourself two RAM sticks because you can use them dual channel, which gives you a bump in performance. So this is the best way to go. So if you want to have 64 gigabits, get yourself two 32 gigabyte sticks. Then you have to choose between one normal and one with, with RGB on the top. The disadvantage of RGB on top is two things. You lose 1% one of your performance because there's a program in the background which will control the software here to control the RGB. And you are higher, this means if you have a CPU which goes just below the RAM, you can't really use this. But other than that, you have a nice RGB look. If you go for it, then the 1% performance has isn't really much. But if you want to have a low key RAM, then just go with the normal. It is less expensive, so save up to 20, 30 bucks which makes it the best alternative if you don't care for aesthetics. But if you care for aesthetics, go with RGB. 